In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the green screen effect in CapCut. In fact, I'm going to show you a couple different variations of it. So without any further ado, let's jump right into my computer. So as you can see, I have CapCut PC opened up. And uh, the first example I'm going to show you is uh, this. I have this um, like money falling effect right here, which has a green screen background. And then under that, as you can see, I have <laughs> this amazing video of me um, just being... Um, weird okay so i want to obviously take out the background of these dollar bills uh and kind of green screen it out so what i'm going to do to be able to achieve this is come here to video and then i'm going to click here on cutout and then here you will have this effect called chroma key so you want to click that and then here on the color picker as you can see i already have green selected but you can click on this little uh thing and then you will be able to just click wherever uh, the color that you want to kind of key out or green screen out is. Uh, so I want to use this green. I'm going to click on that. As you can see, it selected it. And then you can play around with the strength of it uh, to actually take out the background. So you can see if I pull it up too much, it takes out some parts of the dollar bills as well. Uh, so you want to make sure it's uh, just enough strength so that it, it takes it out kind of until the edges. Now you can see you can also add the shadow uh, if you want, but I'm not going to do that in this case. Um, so let's see how it looks right now. As you can see, we executed the green screen pretty much perfectly. And uh, again, it was just one click. Now, another thing you can do uh, if you have a clip of a person like this is you can actually do like an auto cutout. So if I wanted this to be kind of like behind my back, I could click on the clip of me. I could click on auto cutout, still in video, cut out and then click on auto cut out. It's going to now analyze my entire, um, it's going to now analyze my entire video and basically try to mask me out. So as you can see, I did a pretty good job. It had obviously a very hard time because I was in uh, this black sweater, uh, but either ways, now we have this auto cut out on as well. So if I wanted the money to be behind me, I could literally just change the order of these two and um, let me put myself on the top there. And now if we play this back, you can see the money is actually behind me and I've kind of cut myself out of the image. Now, if I go ahead, duplicate this layer and then on the one under it, I take out the cutout, then it looks like this, which is pretty, pretty cool. As you can see, now we kind of created this green screen effect just around me without actually having a green screen behind me. Let me show you a second example, which is kind of more of a traditional use of green screens. Uh, so for example, you can see you have this like guy standing here pretending to do like a weather presentation or something like that. So I'm going to just click on that clip, come here to video, cut out, chroma key. I'm going to click on the color picker, click on this green, and then I'm going to bring up the strength a little bit like so. Um, you know, the shadow might actually look pretty decent on this one. So I will add a little bit of shadow as well. As you can see, I added this weather forecast uh, thing behind him. So we have that as well. And um, yeah, now we're pretty much done. Now, if I wanted to move this a little bit, maybe more to the right, I could do that by coming here to basics, uh, position, or even just dragging him uh, like this. So let's see what we have now in the second example. So that is pretty much it. We are done with that. Now let me show you another lost effect that you can create whenever you're using a green screen and you cut someone out. So as you can see, now I put this different like drone shot background behind the guy. And what I want to do is I want to blur this so you get this depth of field looking effect. So I'm going to come here to effects. Uh, you want to come here to blur and I'm going to uh, add the blur kind of over this layer. And uh, you know, you can adjust the blur level as well right here. Uh, so for example, with this, you can make it seem kind of like if, if the guy was in focus and the background was out of focus. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want to master CapCut and not only that, but just learn video editing really well in general and learn how to make your first dollar from it and blow up your social media accounts and make money from it, then my private community videoeditors.io is for you. So you can go ahead and find out more about it in the first link in the description below. And you can also sign up for CapCut if you click the link below. So hope you enjoy this one and I will see you in the next video.